White House whistleblower did the unexpected she returned to work. As you can imagine, Ms. Newbold, a 39-year-old employee of the White House Personnel Security Office, wrote in an email during her commute on Monday, I am extremely nervous for how people at work will treat me. But according to people close to her, she was not afraid to tell them about the things she had seen. Ms. Newbold's dis in the White House, where aggressive leak investigations are conducted in service of President Trump, who has eight signed non-disclosure agreements, Ms. Newbold's account represents the rarest of developments, a damning on-the-record account from a current employee inside his ranks. She wasn't looking for trouble, Ms. Newbold's lawyer, Edward Passman, said in an interview on Monday. And she wasn't looked described as both no-nonsense and intense by people who have interacted with her during the clearance process, Ms. Newbold has served under four presidential administrations, beginning with the Clinton White House in 2000. Eventually, she, yet in the Trump administration, the office was filled with people who had little experience in vetting employees in the interest of national security, Ms. Newbold said in a nine-hour deposition with the House Committee on Oversight and Reform last week. There was no resolution, Ms. Newbold told the committee, according to the panel's Democratic chairman published of her interview, which contained verbatim quotes. And I feel that, Ms. Newbold told the committee that at least two senior administration officials had been granted security clearances you which gave them access to classified information you despite possible disqualifying issues. She also told, in February, the New York Times reported that the president overruled several senior officials in order to, his son-in-law and senior advisor, despite issues raised during his clearance process. John F. Kelly, the president's former chief of staff, wrote a contemporaneous internal memo about how he had been ordered to give Mr. Kushner the top-secret clearance. In her interviews with Mr. Hagen and Mr. Trump has Democrats on the committee are also demanding information from the White House about Ivan Trump, the president's eldest daughter and advisor, who was granted a security clearance shortly after Mr. Kushner got his. In an interview with Ms. Newbold, who has a rare form of dwarfism, also accused Mr. Klein, the former director of personnel security, of retaliating against her when she repeatedly pointed out to him that actions he was taking, including overriding recommendations to issue clearances to two senior officials, were violating protocol. Ms. Newbold said, last fall, Ms. Newbold filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, accusing Mr. Klein of moving office files to a shelf several feet above her, deliberately out of her reach, beginning in December 2017. That month, as little as I am, I am willing to fight and stand up for what I know is right, and they've always respected that about me, Ms. Newbold told the House Committee last week. It's humiliating, in January, Ms. Newbold was suspended for two weeks without pay after that Mr. Klein had approved a security clearance for Mr. Kushner despite staff objections. The office is new, within the past two weeks, Mr. Passman said she was also removed from her supervisory role at work. On Monday, the, also on Monday, Rep. Elijah E. Cummings, Democrat of Maryland and the committee's chairman, called for a subpoena for Mr. Klein, who now works at the Defense Department, to learn more about his work when he was the director of the office and about his interactions with Ms. Newbold. In a letter to Pat, Republicans on the committee quickly sought to minimize what Ms. Newbold actually knew about the senior officials whose clearances were overturned. In a memo released, Mr. Passman said Mr. Bailey's two-week suspension of Ms. Newbold was unwarranted, but added that he's not personally attacking her like Klein did. It did not surprise Mr. Passman or other people close to Ms. Newbold that she returned to work you her choice to continue kind of speaks for itself about the kind of person she is, her older sister, Melissa Ramming, said in an interview on Monday. She's not afraid, Daniel Jacobson, a former associate counsel in the Obama White House, called Ms. Newbold a serious security professional and a total straight shooter in it on Monday.